Several restaurants across North Texas have had to shut down. This is after a lot of employees tested positive for COVID-19. We'll get an update. Here's consumer reporter Alana Otler. Alamo Club is one of several restaurants that had to shut down after an employee tested positive for COVID-19. Moving forward, the question is how any establishment will weigh reopening with keeping employees and customers safe. They closed, then opened, only to close again. Restaurants from Carrollton to Addison to Dallas shutting down after employees tested positive for COVID-19. Many establishments notified customers on social media, bombshells stating it will undergo a CDC-approved sanitation. Employees at Zolis will get their temperatures checked. An excellent cafe in Carrollton confirming they will be testing all employees. If you try to hide it, that's where, where owners get in trouble. Labor attorney Andrew Trusevich says restaurants must be transparent. They should also try to contact customers. If you have a reservation booklet and you know who the customers are, I would contact them. As businesses reopen, COVID-19 cases have continued to spike in North Texas. Since the pandemic started, the city of Dallas has issued over 6,000 violation warnings, but only 35 citations. Of those, just three were issued in the past month. In Addison, city leaders say instead of citing restaurants with positive cases, they will work with them to follow the appropriate guidelines. Trusevich says it's on business owners to take precautions, but it's also on customers. When you get more than, you know, three or four or 10 people together or 20 people together, you are taking a, a, a risk. Under phase three of the governor's plan, restaurants can operate at 75% capacity. In Dallas, Alana Altler, CBS 11 News.